Here we're going to have a look at angles and angles on a straight line, which of course uh, should add up to 180. And uh, you can see here that this is uh, 63, 53 and 63, which do not add 180. Uh, the problem here is that they're being displayed to two significant figures. So there's a bit of a conundrum because you want to make your display uh, nice, but uh, we've actually got free moving points here. And it's a very common problem in all dynamic software that if you have freely moving points, the angles uh, obviously do add up to 180, but they can never be displayed to full accuracy because it may take many, many decimal places to display them correctly. Uh, we could, for example, just have a look at what we've got here and uh, where we had it before. We had 53, 63 and 63. If we change the settings locally to 3 sig fig and see what we've got, we have indeed got this situation, which I've summarized over here, and even that doesn't add up to 180. And we could uh, do it once again to 4, and still, you see the last digit is 3 and 3 and 3, so that doesn't work. So what we need to do is, is get it set up so that you can actually measure correct angles. And uh, the simplest way to do that in Autograph is to select this point, and then right-click, draw a circle of radius, say, 2.5. And then we'll just attach these points to that circle. So select that, select that, and right-click, attach, select, and select, and right-click, attach. OK. Now we've now got points that are going around a circle. But how are they going around? They seem to be jumping along in, in well, let's see. If we double-click on this, they're going in fours. If we change that to a one, and double-click on this one, and change this to a one as well, we now have complete control, and they're going around in ones. So we could, for example, set that to 90, and uh, you've got clock three angles which have been correctly displayed, correctly measured, and they do indeed add up to 180. Uh, just to summarize um, how angles work in uh, Autograph, if we just put three points along here, and select any two, and then it's anti-clockwise round to the third one is the way that the angle is measured, and that is indeed um, pretty standard practice. So there we have it, going round to here. Finally, you might want to hide the circle, so we'll just select that and hide it, so you can see more freely that the angles do indeed add up to 180, or you might uh, indeed want to hide the axes as well.